Hey guys, um, a lot of you have requested that I do a video showing how I um, highlight my own hair. So I'm going to do it tonight, so I just thought I'd try to see if I can do it at the same time, both film it and actually do it. So if you're watching this video, that means I was successful. So I'll show you how I highlight my hair. You will need a rat tail comb. You can use an old toothbrush to apply the dye if you want to, that's optional. And aluminum foil, whatever the cheapest foil you can get is, is fine. And a highlighting kit, I chose the L'Oreal kit, it's my favorite brand. Um, it was about $7 at a just a discount chain store near where I live. And that kit includes instructions, and there are plastic gloves attached to those instructions, you can't really see them. A mixing tub, the highlighting solution, a mixing paddle, the highlighting powder, and the conditioner that you use after you've done the highlights. And this is just a fingertip that you can use to um, apply the dye to your hair. If it works for you, great, but I can never get it to work right, so I don't use it and the ugliest t-shirt you can find in your closet because you will probably ruin it. You want to make sure that you have the foil all ripped off and ready to go before you actually start highlighting and that you fold the edges over like this so that it can slide easily into your hair. It should be a couple inches longer than your longest um, strands of hair. You can pour the solution into the mixing tub. Make sure you have your gloves on. These chemicals are not nice if you get them on your skin. And add the highlighting powder and just mix it in with the paddle. You have to mix for a few minutes to get it to get the consistency that it needs to be. Once it's all mixed, it should look kind of like this, just smooth and creamy, without any clumps in it. Get your ugly t-shirt on. And some girls with thinner hair can just do the top of their hair and look fine. Some um, need to divide it into half. I have extremely, extremely thick hair, so I do my hair in three sections. So I'm just sectioning off the bottom right here. And you obviously want to work from the top to the bottom, or from the bottom up to the top, sorry. So that's the bottom third of my hair, and I'm just um, twisting the, the rest of it up in a way. You want to make sure that you don't have any loose strands hanging down that could accidentally get dye on them. Just smooth it out with your comb. And I just divide it in half in the center and highlight each side one, one at a time. You take your rat tail comb and just um, underneath the top, top, top layer of the section of hair, just kind of weave it up and down and um, pick, separate little sections of the hair. The sections I'm separating about are about an eighth of an inch to maybe a sixteenth of an inch. You can do bigger sections if you want chunkier highlights. But I like to do it with smaller sections because it looks more natural. And take your foil and insert the folded edge underneath the hair to separate it from the rest of your hair. And make sure that you're um, not getting the dye within a fourth of an inch of your scalp. You can burn your scalp otherwise. And then if you want to, you can use the old toothbrush to apply the dye, if that works. Otherwise, you can just dip your um, thumb and forefinger with the glove on into the dye and um, use that to apply it to your hair. Make sure that you're applying the dye evenly from uh, the root to the tip of your hair, otherwise you'll end up with these horizontal stripes in your hair. And um, as you're applying it with the glove, make sure you just use um, your thumb and your forefinger, maybe your middle finger if you have to. You don't want to get the dye all over the gloves, though, because you have to be sliding them on and off a lot throughout this process. And you don't want to get the dye anywhere that it doesn't belong. If you do happen to get it on your skin, make sure you wipe it off right away, because you don't want to deal with dye burns on your skin. And if it gets on any fabric or furniture or anything, again, make sure you wipe it off immediately because it will bleach anything that it touches. When I was 
done this t-shirt had several white splotches on it. And just fold it up and kind of roll it up. You can bolt the ends in like so, so that it stays in place and kind of press it into place. And then I just did the same thing on the other side of my head. And I'm letting down the middle section of my hair and going to repeat the process to, again, divide it in half and apply the highlights to each half. The catch is once you get that first um, roll of foil and you need to work pretty fast. You don't want that one chunk of foil to be sitting there for 20 minutes and then just be getting the last set of highlights into another section of your hair because then you're going to get really super light highlights in that first section that you applied and the last one's going to be really faint highlights. So you want to make sure that it takes you 10 minutes or less to get all these highlights applied to your hair. And I do t obviously take the gloves off in between because um, one, you will work a lot faster without the gloves on, and two, you don't want to be getting the dye all over the rest of your hair as you're sectioning it, sectioning it off. So again, just divided the hair in half and applied the highlights to each half. And now I'm doing the top section. Um, instead of dividing this one in half, I'm dividing it where I parted. Obviously, I want the highlights to go with my part. So you can part your hair wherever you would naturally part it to. It's always fun to try to work around those gobs of foil that you already have in your hair. see my arms were tired out, my, they were shaky. Now this one, um, obviously the top part of your hair is the part that people notice the most, so you've got to be really careful. I'm really making an effort to just pick up small, um, subtle strands so that my hair looks like it has natural highlights. And just separate that from the rest of the hair. And slide the foil into place. And the tricky part is getting the gloves on and off. This is why you only want to get the dye on the thumb and first two fingers, because you probably have to use your mouth or something else to slide the glove back on. And with the top section of your hair, make really, really sure that you're applying it evenly from um, the root to the tip of your hair. If you have uneven chunks, they're going to be sitting right there on top of your head for everybody to see. And just wrap it up and repeat it on the other side of your head. And if you have bangs, you'll probably want to apply just a few highlights so that they blend in with the rest of your hair. 
make sure that um, even if you were doing chunkier highlights throughout the rest of your hair, you probably want to make your bangs a little bit more subtle just so that you um, don't have these big stripes going down your forehead. Obviously, it's a um, hundred times easier to do this um, if you have a friend helping you. Four pairs of hands make it so much easier than than just two, but as I'm demonstrating right here, it is possible to do it by yourself. And then you just do the same thing with your bangs. Put the gloves on, apply the dye, and wrap them up. And then you want to wait about 20 minutes, depending on the instructions in the box. You're going to look like a Star Wars reject for 20 minutes. There's no way around it. And then once that's up, just um, you got to, again, work quickly because you don't want the dye sitting in your hair any longer than it has to. Just pull the tin foil out. Make sure it goes right into the garbage can. You don't accidentally set it somewhere where it can bleach something or stain something. Your hair is going to be all clumped together, so it's going to look like you have these really awkward streaks in your hair, but don't panic. And now instead of Star Wars Reject, you can look like some kind of weird Medusa character with snakes coming out of her head. Yeah, styling right. And then you just shampoo your hair as usual, make sure to rinse it well, and condition using the leave-in conditioner. And then you can style your hair as usual. Here's my finished product after, after I styled it. And there you go, highlighting your own hair.